What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Yo, before we get started, <laughs> I was just scrolling through the gram, right? Scrolling through Instagram. And I came across this uh, post. And I don't know how much, how true it is or nothing like that. I don't know any, I ain't see too much data or any information other than what I saw, but it was pretty interesting to see knowing our current um, state of unemployment rates. So I see this post that says, and I got it pulled up right here. It says companies are so desperate to fill jobs, they're getting rid of drug tests. What? <laughs> That's crazy. It's, it's that bad that they're willing to get rid of drug tests, bro. That's crazy. I I don't know how true. Like I said, it's, it was on the gram, so I'll have to do some more digging. But I just thought it was something crazy that I wanted to see what y'all thoughts were on that. What's your thoughts on that? You know what I mean? Companies get rid of drug tests. What's your thoughts? I just thought that was super interesting. But anyway, man, this video here is one of those videos, man. Unexplained things you won't believe were caught on tape. So it's seen, <laughs> seen some crazy things on some of these videos like this. So I'm always interested. So we're going to get right to it. If you're new to the channel, man, hit the subscribe button, join the fam, and uh, join us in acknowledging the haters, man. Moment of silence for these haters. That's enough. Now run the lights up, baby. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hi, I'm James LaFleur and you're watching The Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Have you ever stopped to wonder if, in the distant past, other types of civilizations, maybe not from here, were living amongst us? And have you ever talked to someone that described the mysterious things that occur in certain places that sometimes baffle experts and remain completely unexplained? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at some of these things, and you're probably in for a ride. Deep in the northern deserts of Mexico is a 30 square mile area where things are just a bit off. The place is known as Zone of Silence and anomalies include radio signals and electronic equipment being lost or going haywire. Strange lights have been spotted in the vicinity and it lies along the mysterious 30th parallel. But the most intriguing story that I've heard from this place are the helpful and polite people who seemingly appear out of nowhere only to disappear just as fast. A family that lives in the area has spoken of frequent visits from two men and one woman who simply request to fill their canteens with fresh water and then leave. One time they told one of the family members that they come from above and a researcher who ended up lost in the zone said that a trio of similar looking people led him back to his camp only to disappear a few moments later. Another thing that captured my attention in this place is this video. A TV station in Mexico received the information that any rock that you pick up in the zone are magnetized for some reason. When they used the compass to verify this information, they were surprised. Mysterious and unexplained places can be found in Russia, such as the Potomsk. See, now the thing about that that makes me like, yo, like what? What caused that? Because that looks like one of those type of craters where something flew from the sky, hit it, and created that, bro. You know what I mean? That don't look man-made to me. 
Mysterious and unexplained places can be found in Russia, such as the Potomsky Crater, which was discovered by a geologist by the name of Vadim Kopakov in 1949 in Siberia. This complex crater is said to be more than 600 meters deep, and locals claim that this place is evil. It is said that people nor animals can approach this place without having a strange and ominous feeling. There are several hypotheses of how this place was formed. Some believe that the crater could be some sort of entrance to an underground world, while others believe that it's some sort of leftover of an unidentified flying object that fell from the sky. The most convincing theory, however, is that this object might just be some sort of meteorite, but none of these hypotheses have been proven. Which makes me wonder exactly what it is that happens in these woods. However, there is a video that went viral in Russia a couple of years ago of a bizarre creature that was spotted on camera, and this is what happened. Since it was published, there is little to no information about this event. A creature is spotted leaping in the woods, and its very long arms and legs tell me that maybe this isn't a hoax or anything of sorts. And taking into consideration that still many creatures are being discovered every year, there might just be something out there in the middle of the woods that we have little to no idea. Like this strange looking creature that was spotted in the Ukraine. When we see some. Okay, now what comes out? That, that didn't look like a gator. What comes out of the water just to breathe, bro? That looks like a fish, but teeth on it, like. Like. I don't know what that is, bro. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people like to go swimming in, in these little ponds and stuff like that. I see people all the time, Facebook, showing selfies of them at a pond, not knowing what's in there, bro. Look at this. That swim up on you? It's taking a leg. It's taking a leg. When we see something that we can't explain and it triggers our mind, we stay hours sometimes thinking about it, and most of the times, these things actually do have some sort of explanation. Sometimes not obvious, but it usually does. However, it is not the case with this event recently published on Instagram of a supposed glitch in the matrix. An object can be seen floating in midair and it doesn't appear to have anything attached to it. Whatever is going on here, I can't find a reasonable explanation for it. There are so many mysterious places and things in life that I don't even know where to begin, but if there's one place that I can't stop staring at, it's the moon. Somehow I believe there's much more to it than we would ever imagine. And I believe it's exactly what's going on here on this video, where we can see some sort of odd structure on the moon's surface. And here is the video. The footage quality isn't that good, but we can clearly see something that apparently shouldn't be there. It appears to be some sort of bridge or tower. It's very difficult to make out exactly what this object could be. See, this is why I be saying, bro, we gotta be crazy to think it's, we're the only ones out in this universe. Like, we gotta be like, come on, man, seriously, stop thinking like that. I'm not saying it's gotta be 1000% true, but we can't honestly think we're the only things living here on Earth that's in this universe, no. Strangely enough, a similar object can be seen on my Private Sky YouTube channel. And this is what he captured on camera. But this is not the only strange thing that has been captured on the moon's surface. Footage that was uploaded to PNK YouTube channel captured a bizarre shadow. This is what happened. It's a perfect circular shadow and by its contrast, it's probably something that is very close, just hovering above the surface. <laughs> Peixe demais, né, galera? 
Sometimes when we're going for a walk, the unexpected and the unexplained can actually happen right in front of our eyes. The f what is that? Pulled out of the ocean, pro. <laughs> yeah, okay. I keep going to the beach, man. Have fun at your little beach event, bro. I'm telling y'all, pools. I'm I'm straight up pools. Only pools nowadays, man. I can see to the bottom of the pool to know what's in there, bro. This is crazy. What is that? It is sort of what happened with Max and Production YouTube channel, which is a channel created four years ago dedicated to entertainment. And in one of his videos, he was showing off his biking skills when something rather unexpected was caught on camera. According to Baxson prediction, there is a small path at the side of the village where he lives at, and he just wanted to have some footage for his future bike videos. It was all going as planned when this happened. The unknown creature makes a jump just in front of his path. First of all, scared of this. I mean, I think I've seen this video, this clip on another video before, but it still caught me off guard. And I'm looking for, I'm thinking a bear going to jump out or something like that. According to Baxson, he noticed the creature a bit earlier than the video shows, so he had a little bit more time to react and avoid a possible crash. Gladly, nothing happened. Like a monkey slash human slash humanoid, I, I don't know. Neither to the creature or to Baxson's prediction. What is most intriguing, however, in this footage is the creature itself. If we analyze it carefully, it's too big to be a monkey and it does have a tail. I was about to say, I just saw it too when he slowed it down. It does have a tail. If we analyze it carefully, it's too big to be a See right there? Oh, caught it perfectly, bro. Here's the tail right here. So it's got to be may mon monkey, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Oh no. The monkey and it does have a tail so it's not a dog. So what creature is this? On October 13th, Melissa Simic went live on Facebook with one of the strangest videos I've come across this year. He describes the video as a mysterious sound that was coming from the sky in the Alps. And strange figures, tall figures that he encountered and they apparently had wings which they were moving. He captured all of this on tape, and this is what he saw. He's searching for the sound's origin, when he comes across a strange place where there are apparently two figures with wings standing in the dark in the middle of the night. At first he doesn't appear to believe his own eyes, and he goes out to check the rest of the place. When he comes back to check if the figures are still there, for his surprise they are. And this time they seem to be moving what appears to be wings. By now he's getting an eerie feeling that maybe he shouldn't be there. Melissa, still going live and taping everything that is going on, is getting a bit scared. And he does what anyone would do, he runs. <laughs> After analyzing and watching this video a couple of times, I'm not too sure if these are two tall, strange creatures, or if this is some sort of ritual happening at night. What I do understand, however, is that everything is off in this video. The strange sound in the sky, 
and these two tall figures that are creepy as it can get. I completely understand why Melissa ran, because that would be what anyone would do in a realistic situation. This is why I believe this is a real video and not a hoax. I'm going to leave that up to you. What do you think is going on here and what would you do if you were in his situation? In today's modern world, when people are having an event or some sort of party, it's expected to see some sort of beam of light coming from the ground up towards the clouds. And many people till today confuse these things with some sort of sighting. However, it's very different with these videos that have surfaced the web in the last couple of weeks. Coming from Hone Legacy YouTube channel, this was taped this month, October 2020, and this is what he saw. No, it was... No, it has to be some noise. What is it? Like some kind of uh, like big party or some somebody got a ton of lights that they paid for. Might be a stadium that I don't know. Maybe something, but that I wouldn't be tripping over that. It's when you see like little, like individual, like something big that you can see a shape of light in the sky that I would be worried about. That looks like a either a sporting event or a concert or something down there. What? What is it? An event like this one where the sky is all lit up, it can't be just some sort of light here or there. Something similar was captured in Southern Sweden and it was published by Happy Compilations YouTube channel. Now that right there I might be a little bit worried about. I don't know what that could be. In Coventry, England, also. That's what I'm talking about, too. That little beam of light right there, or it's little from a distance, probably huge when you get up on it, but that, I would be, that's what I'm talking about being worried about. So, and all of this happened basically in the same month, which makes this total head scratcher. However, it was in Maui, Hawaii this week that things took a turn. People all over the city captured what appeared to be a cluster of lights blinking in the sky and according to what they're describing, it was huge. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? The first possible explanation from experts was that this was some sort of satellite that had broken and was making re-entry. However, this wasn't proven. So whatever is going on here, it what? still remains unexplained. Where is that coming from? Where the f Sorry, look up, look up, look up, look up, bro, in the sky. No, look, look up, up, bro. Man. Holy sh Now I can't imagine how frustrating it might be just to look up at something like this and not know exactly what it is, where it's coming from and where it's going to. For instance in a Panthers vs a Steelers game. Steve New taped what appears to be a mysterious object that slowly shows up in the horizon as if it's watching the game too. What the heck? They're playing music in the background. What the heck is that thing? It wasn't like it was something invisible or not noticeable. It was there and people started noticing it. To this day, this event remains unexplained. Yo, how can something so like beautiful, something so just amazingly, just, it, I don't know, man, I don't have the right words to describe what lava looks like, bro. It's just, and you know what I'm saying? Can, how can something like that be so deadly? Look at it, bro. The way lava flows and looks, man, is 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 amazing but it's so deadly it's crazy it's kind of like women bro you know what i'm saying <laughs> no, i'm just joking i'm just joking lady footage gone viral coming in from brazil in a school in paraná 
a bizarre phenomena was captured on camera and Late at night, two security guards heard strange noises coming from the first floor of the school. It was as if someone was slamming a door. It was actually where the fire hydrant was capped at. The two security guards did what they were supposed to and they went to check out what exactly was going on. If y'all was a security guard, y'all going to check that out right there? Or y'all going to call the police and then go up there once they get... Because a lot of y'all here are security guard and y'all thinking to yourself, might have been my last day working right there, bro. <laughs> Look, you hear that? Down, a, down a, like a dark hall. That's lit, but it ain't lit enough. Nah, fam, I don't know what's going on. Exactly what's going on. All of a sudden, it's... And it stops when I get there? Oh, hell! <laughs> stopped the lights go off and the security guards were hoping that it was someone there and this is what happened no <laughs> they instantly check to see if there's anyone inside the building with them and they also check the light fuses only to find out that there's no one there and that the electricity is all normal. So what was it that they just captured on camera? A paranormal encounter or something else? I hope they got guns. I hope they ain't type of security that they don't let have guns. All they got is a flashlight, bro. And no way. <laughs> Airplanes are a means of transportation of the modern world. On December 17, 1903, Wilbur and Orville Wright made four brief flights at Kitty Hawk with their first powered aircraft. And ever since, the average number of total flights per day is 145,000, which is an incredible number. So it's understandable that at some moment, in one of these flights, there's going to be someone inside of these airplanes that's going to see something that he's not supposed to see. This is the case with this video where a person was taping another airplane that seems to be halted in midair. Hey, excuse me. Look at the plane. It's not even. glitch in the matrix or something else. Now notice how many of these videos, the person is actually going in the opposite direction of the plane, usually inside of a car. What? This sometimes can be easily explained by the fact that the plane in opposite direction with the car makes it appear that it's paused in midair, which isn't usually the case. However, in this situation, it's the contrary. The plane is going in the same direction. Exactly. The plane is not moving. And they're basically side by side, which means that they're facing probably the same wind current. So what is actually going on here that this other plane seems to be really halted in midair? This is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this one, subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you guys again. Yeah, that whole plane pausing in the air phenomenon, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I ain't got to worry about it because I have no business in a plane, as I've told y'all before, but my family is still currently trying to get me to fly, bro. Why? Why? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why? No, we can go by a car or by boat. You know what I mean? And I'm still kind of shaky on the boat. They got some good deals going on right now, so I don't know, man. Y'all getting these good deals in your emails? Like, I know this is off topic, bro, but... $25 they sent us for a balcony room on one of the, um, might have been Carnival, fam. So check your local listings or whatever you check to get your, find out about it if you're taking a cruise, bro. Might be on one soon, so I don't know. But anyway, man, y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. 
leave a like share the video subscribe and uh stick around and stay tuned to the next reaction of my peace y'all stay solid hey i'm gone